to Lisbon. Portugal's capital is one of the oldest cities in Europe and is well known for many, many things. The people who are friendly and hospitable, the cafe culture, the fado music, the nightlife, the <clears throat> cheap wine and of course Cristiano Ronaldo, right? <laughs> century the Portuguese had the idea of conquering the world, where Henry the Navigator was the main initiator of the Age of Discoveries. That's important to know, but I'm not here to talk about history. The most important fact is that you're visiting a city where a brutal earthquake on the 1st of November 1755, the Old Saints Day, destroyed almost everything, followed by a huge tsunami that claimed thousands of lives. The only witness of this tragedy today is Carmel Convent, also known as Church of Our Lady Mount Carmel. The beautiful Gothic church survived all these years to tell the story, and you can feel it in the air. And when we talk about downtown, or Baixa, a name comes to my mind. The first Marquis of Pombal was the responsible for the reconstruction of Lisbon after the tsunami. Mr. Sebastião José de Carvalho e Melo, his real name, is a famous resident in Memoria Church, and if we're serious about knowing the city, we should go there when we visit Ajuda, which by the way is not too far from Belém. It's not because I was born and raised here, but Lisbon, Lisbon is just different. I've traveled a lot to many places in the world, but this city has some sort of a magnet. I'm not the only one saying this, it's well known that everyone that visits Lisbon one time will surely be back in the future. I'm starting to believe that this has something to do with Belém custards. These small well-baked cakes are a top secret recipe and they are wonderful with the bica, the famous Portuguese espresso that you can drink everywhere. While I take a bite on this yellow honey, I wonder what's special about this city. Maybe Santa Ingracia Church, where some Portuguese personalities rest, including the goddess of Fado Amali Rodrigues, or the old yellow trams that bring some charm to the streets. Maybe it's just because Christ is blessing the city and is watching for us all the time, I don't really know. The truth is that this place has a fantastic history and things to see before going back home. Like by Rualto with its small alleys and lots of bars to drink a couple of beers at night and where locals usually go first before going to the disco. By day, only a few resident souls can be seen around. And there's not much to do. We might want to visit this neighborhood by day, unless we want to party. Just be sure not to miss the episode about Bairro Alto and you'll have an idea of what I'm talking about. Trust me. I can also think about St. George Castle in Alfama with its imposing walls. Martin da Arcada Café and Restaurant where the famous Portuguese writer Fernando Pessoa wrote many pages of literature. The lovely Rua Augusta with its stores and street artists. Commercial Square, where the Royal Palace stood for over two centuries until the earthquake. The best thing in Lisbon? No car needed for the most places. You can walk in the city and in a matter of minutes you're where you want to. And if you're tired, Metro takes us everywhere. I would be here talking about the city of day, but I'm sure you already subscribed the channel and I know you will not miss the next episodes. This was just a sample of what you can expect. I will be covering everything in Lisbon, and let me tell you that everything can happen, so you can expect a lot of surprises.
Travel. See you on next episode. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and come discover Lisbon with me.